Hey everyone, I'm Black Lightning. Is life rare in our universe? Are planets such as the Earth so rare that the astrophysical and geological circumstances that led to life on Earth should be considered rare? Take our solar system for example. Out of all of the planets that orbit the Sun, only one has life. Or at least one with complex life. There's a chance that extremophiles can exist somewhere in our solar system. Extremophiles are organisms that thrive in extreme environments that would be hazardous to most life on Earth. Just because something is hazardous to us, it doesn't necessarily mean life can't exist in that particular environment. Since I'm talking about our solar system, why is Earth the only terrestrial planet in our solar system to harbor life today? Why didn't Mercury, Venus, and Mars develop the same way? Although all of them are terrestrial planets, the circumstances surrounding them were different. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system and far too close to the sun for there to be liquid water flowing on the surface. Each star has a habitable zone, an imaginary ring around a star in which temperatures are optimal for liquid water to flow on a planet. The ring can be close to a star or far away depending on the temperature of the star. Mercury has no atmosphere and there's two extreme sides on Mercury. The side that faces the sun is a scorching 801 degrees Fahrenheit and the other side of Mercury is a chilling negative 279 degrees Fahrenheit. Surprisingly, water ice exists in the deep craters at Mercury's poles because they are never exposed to direct sunlight. Mercury is just too extreme for it to harbor complex life as we know it on it. Venus, often called Earth's sister planet because they are similar in size. Despite being called Earth's sister planet, it is very hostile for any complex life as we know it to exist on such a planet. It has a surface temperature of 863 degrees Fahrenheit due to a runaway greenhouse effect. Venus is actually the hottest planet in our solar system despite Mercury being the closest planet to the Sun. Venus, like Mercury, is also too extreme. Mars is the second most interesting planet to me in our solar system, Earth being the first. There's evidence of there being water on Mars in the past. Mars cooled because of its size. It's about half the size of Earth, and as a result of its cooling, the atmosphere thinned. It also doesn't help that Mars is the farthest terrestrial planet in our solar system. Any water on Mars now exists as ice. The most noticeable are the polar ice caps, but also exist below the surface. The ice that exists below the surface hasn't evaporated because it's protected by a thick layer of dust. The geological circumstances of these planets are not optimal for complex life as we know it to develop on them naturally. Earth has had a violent past. During the late heavy bombardment era, which was about 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago, Earth, along with the other terrestrial planets, were hit by huge numbers of asteroids. Earth managed to survive that and had the necessary conditions for life to exist. Can we use our solar system as a reason to think life is rare? Of course not. There's billions upon billions of stars in our universe that combinations of life abundant and lifeless planets to a host star are seemingly endless. There could be a solar system out there where there's more habitable planets than inhabitable planets in it. A complete opposite of our solar system. This poses a question. Where are the extraterrestrial aliens? The large scale of the universe makes it highly probable of intelligent life being common in our universe, but we still have no evidence of intelligent life other than the Earth. Despite us broadcasting signals into the vast unknown, our voices seem to remain unheard. This is the Fermi Paradox. Despite my optimistic viewpoint of there being life on other planets than our own, we still have no evidence of alien life. The universe could have only recently had the necessary conditions for life to exist. We could very well be the first and only planet with life on it. If we go extinct, 
the universe loses its only sign of life, a fragile ember in a cold environment. Our current understanding of the universe is still incomplete, and life could be rarer than we think. There's an estimate of 200 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Even if we say a small percentage of those stars have planets that harbor intelligent life on it, there would still be a significant number of civilizations in our galaxy. And the Fermi Paradox, a hypothetical explanation on why we haven't found life yet, mentions that there could be natural occurring filters that destroy intelligent life or prevent it from happening. The Earth has had many extinction events. I'm quite sure humans aren't immune to a natural extinction. Or will humans destroy themselves? Is it the nature of intelligent life to destroy itself once it reaches a certain point in technological advancement? The more technologically advanced we become, the easier it is for us to destroy ourselves. The reason why the Earth is still around is because the Earth has yet to reach its final filter. Perhaps the reason why we haven't made contact with aliens is because they are too different. Our methods of communication could vary so drastically that even though we're trying to contact each other, it goes undetected by both civilizations. There's no guarantee that aliens will have the same method of communication as us humans. The aliens could be so advanced to the point that us communicating with an ant is impossible as it is for them to communicate with us. We would be the ants in that scenario. If we were to encounter such an alien civilization, I can imagine some of us calling them gods. That would be an interesting scenario, huh? Maybe the aliens figured out that it's too dangerous for different civilizations to communicate with each other. Take Earth, for example. When very different civilizations came into contact with each other, very terrible events unfolded. If this is the case, perhaps it's in our best interest not to make contact with an alien civilization, especially if they happen to be far more advanced than us. The universe is abundant in elements necessary for life. The first generation of stars may not have had the necessary elements for life in their solar system, but once those stars reach the end of their life cycle, they explode, sending all of the elements they manufactured throughout their lifetime into outer space. The sun is made up of mainly hydrogen and helium. Then there's carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and 0.5% of other elements. These elements that get sent into outer space after the death of a star enrich nebulas with new elements and the next generation of stars have the necessary elements for life to form in their solar systems. These elements seem to be plenty in our universe, so I still believe that there has to be life other than what we see on the Earth. We haven't even explored at least 1% of the visible universe yet, so I don't think we can say there's no alien life out there. It's far too early to suggest that. I believe there's no reason to believe we're alone in this universe, despite the lack of evidence for alien life. One day I hope we can finally say we're not alone, and hopefully that's not a bad thing. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.